If you have a patient with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, it is most likely due to a hypersensitive hypersensitivity disorder secondary to exaggerated IgG and IgE immune response to an antigen, okay? Just keep that in mind. You're welcome. Atrial septal defect can cause what sort of cardiac anomaly? It can cause right atrial or ventricular dilation. If you see asymmetric oligoarthritis, what should be top of the differential? Reactive arthritis, right? Uh, HLA B27 positivity is associated with reactive arthritis. Uh -huh. Status post media infection. Absence of a tracheal cough on tracheal suctioning is a sign of what? It's a sign of brain death because if you don't have the tracheal cough, it means that your brainstem reflexes aren't intact. If a patient wants medications like stimulants, what's the obvious thing that you need to do? Check their medical history and confirm that they actually need stimulants. Um, if you have somebody with obstructive sleep apnea and they're wondering what's why they're so sleepy in the morning, just tell them that their symptoms are likely due to a sleep abnormality. Uh, what prophylactic surgery should a patient with uh, multiple endocrineoplasia type 1 get? They should get a parathyroidectomy. Um, if need be, if you have a sort of discrepancy with medications from a transferred patient to your service, you can call the former or primary physician to see why a medication was given. Okay. When an external variable has a positive or negative impact on an observed effect, then that risk factor then is called what? It's called effect modification. Uh, what sort of imaging modality is used to screen certain patients who meet certain criteria like smoking and our age and amount of smoking is used to screen for lung cancer? A CT scan. If someone has obvious risks or signs of uh, neurologic issues, you can get a head CT. Is it a fine to accept cheap gifts from patients? Is that morally ethical? Yes, but do not accept the expensive stuff. Okay. You can't accept expensive gifts from patients. You cannot. You said yes, but okay, we can accept expensive gifts. Correct. So you can accept cheap gifts. <laughs> Hypertransfusion regimen can result in what sort of overload? Iron overload, so you got to be aware of that. If a confidence interval crosses the line, is it valid or not valid? It's not valid as far as having an effect. If your patient cannot protect their airway, what sort of intervention should you do to them? You should intubate them. Are there any known supplements to prevent dementia? Nope, no supplements to prevent dementia. Under obvious circumstances, you want to perform a suicide risk assessment in the emergency department. A good question to ask if you have a concern for SI and the ED would be something like, were you intending to harm yourself? Um, what is a medication that reduces suicidal ideation and feel of suicidal ideation in people with mood disorders? Starts with an L, lithium. If you suspect infectious mononucleosis, uh, which is, by the way, due to Epstein-Barr virus, what sort of antibody screen should you perform? Perform a heterophile antibody screen if you suspect mononucleosis. Is mononucleosis life-threatening? Well, 
yeah, sometimes. But the point that I'm trying to make is it's a self-limited uh, issue. And can you treat it with uh, NSAIDs? Yes. Um, and under certain situations, mono can cause swelling and airway obstruction. So when that's starting to happen, what sort of primary intervention do you want to do? You could start IV corticosteroids to decrease some of that swelling, intubate if, ne if necessary. Um, you can get a CT scan of the neck if it's secondary or primary cancer is suspected there. What's a good test for chlamydia? Nucleic acid amplification test, colloquially known as NAAT, NAT. Uh, what sort of use can cause random menstrual bleeding? Oral contraceptives use can cause random menstrual bleeding. Um, pregnant patient, she's scratching a lot. Is that normal or abnormal? For the post part, it's normal. It's common. And pregnancy is associated with known skin changes. And itching is a common side effect. Um... Pemphigoid gestationist looks like what? Hives on a belly. Hive belly. Topical triamcinolone can be used to treat what? Topical triamcinolone can be used to treat a lot of things, uh, including autoimmune inflammatory disease or pemphigus gestationis. A classic dashboard injury damages what knee ligament? the posterior cruciate ligament. If you suspect celiac disease, what should you do initially? Perform a detailed dietary review. Um, and the criteria for an acute stress disorder, it needs to be greater than or equal to three days, but less than or equal to one month. Status post an obvious identifiable stressor. It'll be super obvious in a question. Patients with hepatitis C should get what sort of vaccine? A hepatitis A vaccine, right? If you see someone with hep C, they should get a hep A vaccine. A p-value less than 0 0.5 is what? Is statistically significant. You like those p-values less than 0 0.5. Um, what sort of... I guess, method is used to monitor safety of medications after market release to increase the power to detect an issue. Post-marketing surveillance is used to monitor safety of medications after marketing release. Uh, true or false, uh, lesbians have higher risk of bacterial vaginosis. It's true. Look out for the BV. LBs look out for the BV. Um, what sort of common side effect does amoxicillin cause? A rash, so you got to look out for that. Um, how long does the fatigue associated with mono last? It can last a while, it can last up to like months. Uh, you got a little kid and they got constipation. It's most likely due to what? Fecal impaction. So you may need to manually remove the poop. And if you suspect failure to thrive in a child, what should you inquire about? Inquire about formula preparation and solid food intake.